All right, guys, I'm back. Put in the chimp. Definitely not my cleanest install, but got the job done. Pretty much just wired up the buttons, wrapped them underneath, some ribbon wire, and just zip tied them to make sure they're secure with an anchor. Um, if you don't know, you can buy these little anchors and zip ties mounts. So I have one in this corner, one in this corner, and one right there as you see there. So just to move on, uh, we're gonna move on to the Sumitsu install of the Arkai LEDs. So as you see here, we have our Arkai LED. I uh, can't really focus in too well, sorry about that. And you have your template that you receive when purchasing Arkai's. Um, and here's the Sumitsu button. Um, as you know, you have your ring. Move that out the way. So you have this guy here. Pretty much what this is, is it goes on the button. Make sure these grooves match up with these pins right here. So these pins match with those grooves. Pretty much put it on like this. Um, you can go ahead and start drilling into the holes, uh, but what I found a little bit better is if you get a pencil, like Purple Arm said, or something really sharp, like a sharp, uh, I'm just using the sharp edge. And I pretty much just go in, up and down a little bit, get a mark, get a mark, just get some few marks in there. It's a little hard doing this in front of the camera. and take this off. All right, don't know if you can really see if it focuses in, there you go. You see those marks right there, top and the bottom. Um, again, the way to, before you start doing anything, go ahead and pop the top off, which is you get a flathead screwdriver or something small, push in this, push it up, Go to the other side, push it up, and then you grab the button like this and pull it apart. Um, and then obviously you have these pins right here. You push one in, push it to get it at an angle, hold it in in place, and then you press the other side and push up in the button. It is now disassembled. Um, again, um, this is plastic, so uh, be safe. Um, don't go around drilling a hole in your finger or anything. Um, Make sure you wear some eye protection if you're worried about plastic going in your eye or breathing any in. So, I'm go all right, here we go for the uh, button install. So after you made your holes, you want to go ahead and either glue this portion or wrap some tape around the cylinder here. Because as you can see, there is some play. So you want to make sure it's nice and in place. So what you want to do is you can get some tape uh, painters tape, electrical tape, just something, just wrap it once around and it will give it a nice firm fit. Um, make sure that the indentations here, the buttons that you uh, push in to pry, pry this out, make sure they line up with the surface mount LEDs. Again, sorry for the blur, but maybe it will focus in. Or not, but oh well. Uh, make sure those are lined up. And then your the holes that you drilled there we go you want to insert it you can either reference the holes you drilled or the indentations map to the slots where the button is once you insert it you have to put tape around line you go ahead and line that push that in and your button is done and put this on there for all your buttons and then we're going to go ahead and put this in the template so let me go ahead and do that all right guys so if you need help uh, or want to know about the wiring um, of the arc eye boards to um, your sparky or uh, f widget to the left widget board or any other LED controller um, that can be found on the thread for arc version 2 on shuriken.com in the tech talk section 
this is just a preview of what's uh, going on right now. So you have your um, smoked layout. So you got your smoke ball top, your buttons. This is what it looks like in the back temporarily. Um, I get my wires uh, mounted. I um, didn't want them hanging around, but I'm probably going to move them because I don't like the way they're sitting. So I'll probably zip tie them to the button as Purple Arms did, and I'll probably remove these, but this is just an example. You have your wires right here, so everything comes included in the kit, so once you get that, you should be set. Alright, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get this sparky board. And I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on it. So there it is. So then you have your port at the bottom if you have a um, T easy or dual strike, I believe. And pretty much in the Sparky thread, also on shuriken.com and the Tech Talk, they'll show you the schematic um, for the buttons, button layout wires, where everything goes. So. And also instructions come when you um, purchase this item, so you'll have instructions on how to assemble and uh, connect your archive boards and also the Sparky boards. Pretty much almost anything you buy um, nowadays will come with instructions. It's just up to us to read them. <laughs> Alright guys, here's the final product versus um, the stock. So as you see, I put the smoked bubble top right here, all the smoke buttons in, and just to accent the white start and stop buttons, I went ahead and put on a white bezel. Um, as you can see, they all light up. Again, sorry if my arm's in the way. Here you go, this better shot. Um, they get darker as you go across, but it's a little hard to see. And then purple. Let me go ahead and turn off the light real quick. Again, blue, white, purple. and then they get darker as they go. But it's hard to see that they're actually getting darker. But it's a nice, nice turnout. Again, um, for any tips or questions, concerns, please just go to shuriken.com tech talk section and just go to the specified thread for um, the particular part that you want to discuss. So either the Tools Chimp board, the Sparky board, or the Archives. All right, thanks again, Mufasa2, signing off.